I've had a few people already ask me, what am I doing going to the Philippines? Is it a long holiday? Is it for school? Or is it to smuggle drugs? <laughs> this is strictly business. The answer would officially be it's strictly business because Tali's got his virtual internet business team making sales from the Philippines. There's a handful of them so it only just makes sense to join them rather than stay here in London, especially over the winter, right? So that's the answer. And to get more information we're going to interview Vitali. So we're here in Vitali's room where all the internet magic happens and we're going to ask a few questions. My first question actually is, can you tell me more about your team? Because that's the main reason we're going to the Philippines. What does your team do day to day? They literally just replicate what I'm doing. So I used to literally sit in and send emails all day every day, wake up, do the same thing on repeat. To the point where I thought, why am I doing this? Why am I doing the exact same thing every day when I could just make a video? send it to, to some outsourcer who is interested in learning this stuff and they can do it for me and replicate my work. So first started off with uh, my project manager Kay. She, what I recommend if, if anyone's hiring to hire a, a jack of all trades, someone who's just excellent at everything, that project management, you know, follow instructions, learning, actually loves this stuff. And obviously you get on with personally, like well, very, very well. <laughs> So the question is, what did you used to do? What I do is I sell advertising. I start off my internet journey doing launches. That's, that's what worked well for me at the beginning. Did you create a, a product, package it, a digital product, put it behind a membership site, and then you sell it. You get partners on board, you pay them a commission, they drive traffic, and they get cut of the sale along with you. So that's how I used to generate money. And I, in, during the launch, you generate leads. So we get a ton of email leads, which we then follow up with, with other offers. So that's how I realized email marketing is the way to go. That's why I made 90% of my money, all from email. Just sending emails, like bulk emails, to people who subscribed, of course. The way I look at it is people used to go knocking on people's doors, right? Like 20 years ago, but now I guess everything's going online. So knock, knock via your email. That's what I realized after launches, when you do the launch, you have to restart it, make a new product, set that website up again, and do the launch, get new partners on board. But then it hit me that once the launch is over, the main money that comes in from it is the email list. That's the biggest asset. So now I just fully focus on generating leads, moment leads. I don't do launches because it's a waste of time. You literally build a website, launch it, and then you forget about it. Then you have to start fresh again, which is such a waste of waste of waste of time, waste of life. So now I build an asset, build my websites, and I constantly drive fresh traffic, collect the leads, and the aim of the game is to break even. The quicker I can, like, say, I want to advertise hundred bucks, and I get hundred bucks back the next day or the next week, that's the aim of the game. So if I can spend money to get money back as soon as possible, I'm basically building my email list for free. But like, surely don't you make the most money from selling the product through the product launches instead of just getting an email list? Usually we give away affiliates most of the money because we, we want as much leads and, uh, and, and basically traction as possible. So we give away the majority of the sales to the affiliates just to collect the leads because all we want is the leads. So when people come to the website, they enter the email first to receive more information. And now they've given us their contact information we can follow up with them with other offers. It's just basically someone saying, look, I'm interested, send me more information. So once we've got the lead, we follow up them for a couple of months and that's when we generate the big bucks. The thing is, for my first ever launch, because I knew, I knew I was like, you know, honestly, I know nobody in the marketplace, nobody knew my name. So, so I approached the first guy, it was a Facebook product selling a Facebook like tips on advertising and stuff. 
So I went, found the biggest guy who was selling at Facebook courses, cotted him, he ignored me. Went to the second guy, he met, I messaged him, he ignored me. Went to the third guy, he, he replied back to me and we did a launch together. And that launch did about $60,000 in revenue. But since I wanted to get my name out there, I decided to give away 100% commissions to all affiliates. So everyone who promoted got 100% of commission of the product. I didn't keep any money, I just kept the buyers list. So at the end I had 2,000 customers who knew me, who bought my product. So I had 2,000 people I could contact every day, send them information, you know, send them videos, tips, build a relationship with them, and that's how I made way more money over a few months. And that's how I met all my business partners. So how does this journey link to your team in the Philippines? To take it a step backwards, before with launches you have to focus on affiliates and joint venture partners. And this is just people you've partnered up with and you, you get, get a split of the sale. So affiliate, when they come on board, you can give them 50% to drive traffic for you. And if they make a sale, you give them 50%. So it's like your own personal salesman and everyone's got their own like army of affiliates, promoting them and then once your launch, launch is done, you go and promote them. So you kind of form a syndicate of people all supporting each other in the marketplace. And with me, I, I don't like that way because you have to rely on other people. You have to like, once, you've, once they've sent you traffic, you've got to send them traffic back. So it's like, you can't see own people favors. So that's not the way I want to run my business. So I thought I want to go fully solo, run my own advertising, not focus on anyone. And since I don't want to just sit there on my own, doing it every day, doing the same thing on my own. I had decided to hire a team on board. Surely wouldn't it be better to collaborate? Uh, eventually yes, but to be honest now, now I'm just tired of it. All my four years I've been working with people, you know, helping them out, they've been helping me out. But now I just want to fully focus on building my own system and then bring my own affiliates on board. I just don't like working with other people. <laughs> <laughs> Because at the end of the day, I guess business is a risky game. And when you're meeting new people online that you don't know from before, it can be yeah. risky, no? And that's a key word you mentioned, control. That's probably one of the biggest things ever. Because I don't like relying on people, especially when they don't understand what I'm doing. Because before I would do a ton of work, say I had a business partner, he doesn't understand the technical side of stuff. So when I bring him like a funnel or, web or website, he doesn't understand how much work has gone into that. So now I just prefer to work on my own because I know, look, I trust myself. I know how much I, I, I can get my work done. And then when I, when I do my own work, I, I just feel happy that I've done it. I don't have to explain to anyone, oh, look, this is how much I've done. Look how, look how much. And then, then it comes to the point of splitting profits and stuff. That, that's the annoying thing because you have to explain the costs, the profits. It just slows things down. When I'm working on my own, I could work so much faster than having someone else kind of you know, work with, explain stuff to, split the profits and the costs, and it's, it just it gets compl complicated. So now I just fully focus on my thing and get my team on board. The difference of a team instead of a, a, a partner is they just follow what you tell them to do. The team is, mm. is a whole different way of working. They're very different. That's what I realised, that's why I just stuck to the team. Because when I had a partner and team, I just love focusing on the team because I can teach them stuff. They listen to me since obviously I'm employed and I'm much more higher authority. So I can teach them stuff they actually want to learn and they love to be part of this. Instead of a partner who's kind of constantly like discussing your ideas or trying to bring someone else to the table, then if you don't agree, it just becomes complicated and unnecessary. Whereas with a team, like you're the leader, you're, they're following you no matter what. And then it's amazing to go with because obviously I believe myself. So I know what to do, whereas I don't need to explain stuff to a partner who may not know that, may not share the same vision as me. Whereas when I explain to the team, teaching the stuff, and they've kind of gone along with me in the process, they're very aligned with my path because I've chosen it them. Sounds, it sounds a lot faster. The thing with the team, I hire them personally. So when they go through the application process, I pick out the people who want to work with. So over time, now we've got like 30 people who just, everyone is just on point, everyone gets along with each other. Wait, so, so you have a team of 30? Yeah, 30 people. Fuck off. <laughs>
<laughs> it's gonna, I, want, I want to get to 100 by the end of the year, without a doubt. The thing is, here, here's, where, here's what I realised. When I start hiring people and paying them monthly, or weekly, whatever, uh. then that's when I can't scale as much. Whereas now, I've, since I've got the system in place that's generally sales, now I can just pay people per sale, purely performance based. So that's how I can scale much faster. Instead of having like two or 10 people, which I have to pay per month, which can take a, you know, a big chunk <laughs> of, of my money per month. Instead of that, I'll hire two people to just manage the whole thing, two, three people, and the rest are just purely performance based. So they only, they work, they basically come in, it's like a university, they come in, they learn, and they apply the process and start you know, mailing some leads and generate sales, but they only get paid when they generate a sale. It sounds a bit like a franchise like McDonald's or something. So, I mean, what does this system mean in your case? So yeah, my four years were mostly focused on learning how to master traffic and conversions, because that's the internet formula. If you can learn how to drive traffic to a website, and turn those visitors into sales, that's it, you, you basically you print your money. So that's why I focus on building sales funnels. And the sales funnel is just like, you know, like in a supermarket, you go through, everything specifically placed, so you can, you know, buy the max amount, like, you know, sweets at the, the tea or whatever. Here online is the same thing, just a sequence of web pages, specifically designed, so you go through, like Amazon, you go in and like it has specific things like customers also bought this, da da da, all made to to make you uh, buy more products. So I do the same thing. I build out build out these systems, link them all up, drive my own traffic, I send the leads to my VAs, my team, and they can start emailing these leads. So any products that people don't buy originally, the VAs follow up with, and if anyone who buys the product, the VAs get a commission. So it's all performance based. They get a cut of the sale, and uh, my main goal with this is to have give massive opportunity to Filipinos to eventually uh, have a system where someone come in, learn. They don't have to go work a job. They can come in, make sales, join a team, be part of the community. We have masterminds. We go like hotels. Everyone meets each other. Like recently, K and my um, my team went to Cebu on to have like a beach party. You know, relax you know, share some cool stuff and work together. So I'm very against the traditional education system. I, I dropped out of uni, I uh, didn't believe in it. I want to focus on my stuff. So this one I build, I build like an online system where anyone come in, make sales, work from home, you know, focus more time on their family and uh, live the, you know, the dream lifestyle. It gives you more flexibility to do what you want to do. I, I mean, that's the main thing really. You don't need to be a, a millionaire or, or anything. It just gives you the cards to play to do what you want, right? Mm. To do more of what you want, and less of the nine to five. Which that's my main motivator to, to, to eliminate that. Yeah. It's just you have no time for yourself when you're working nine to five and commuting. You have no time for yourself. You can't go gym. You have no time to cook from home. You have to just do everything fast, fast, fast. And at the end of the day, your body comes out at the end. Of the mm. crap. And that's that's why I'm so passionate about because obviously I dropped out of uni. Even when I went to work a job, I was just so depressed when I was going home, so so down. I'm like, this this is not what I want to do. I don't want to be working for someone else. I want to build my own system and have people working with me. And that's the thing, I tell my VAs, you're not working for me, you're working with me. Because when the money comes in, I'm happily giving away like 20, 30%. I don't look at it as a loss, I look at it as a gain. Because without that person, I wouldn't have received that money in the first place. So eventually, once I've stabilized all my businesses, I'm going to be giving away 50% to all my VAs, everyone just to give them an opportunity. Because I realized that at the end of the day, money is just, it's just a resource, it's just a tool for, for growth. So I'm never, I've never, never ever been the greedy person. I'm so much happier giving them the money because they need more in a way th than I do. Eventually when I build out these systems, sure I'll be earning the money, but I want to give away as much as possible and have like hundreds, thousands of Filipinos and change their lives. So why did you choose to build your team virtually via the Philippines? It's, it's a good point. I've been thought about it a few times. Uh, one mainly has been recommended by all marketers. They've fully focused on the Philippines. One, because their culture is just very 
They're very loyal, they're very hardworking people. And I've had experience work with like, you know, Indian, Bangladeshi. Those countries are generally much more entrepreneurial. So when you hire someone, teach them all this stuff. I don't want to bring someone into my company, teach them all this stuff and then, you know, they leave in two months because they want to do their own thing. When I have an employee, I want to teach them so they can stick with me through the whole process. So, as, and so you know, even Chinese as well, very entrepreneurial and a bit dodgy as well, so I can't hire that. Uh, and the rest of the world, like you know, America, UK, that's just too expensive for me to hire. I haven't got you know, 500 pounds a week to pay someone. Whereas Filipino, since it's Philippines is a third world country, you know, the currency is a bit different, a bit lower, so I'm able to afford hiring someone from there. And they're loyal, their culture is different, they're very family based, they just want to work at home and uh, you know, focus on their family, have time for their family. So that's, it just seemed the best option. So let's say I'm a Filipino and I want to work for you, Vitali. How do I get on board? And I mean, I'm not in the same country. Well, mm -hmm. I don't know. Do I just log on to like, a website or something? Simply, you can just put up a job posting online. So I go to like a, a Filipino, you know, kind of like a Craigslist job directory, put up a post in and people come and apply, give them the link, they go to the application form. But instead of just someone applying, you know, we accept them straight away, they go through the process. So since our business is email marketing, I've specifically designed a process which is going to test all of their skills, you know, how they uh, create emails, how they make an account, how they can send emails to us, uh, even if they can watch the video and follow simple instructions. So they go through the process, watch the video, follow the instructions. If they get anything wrong, we don't follow up with them. So if they go and complete the process, they send the email back to us, and my project manager looks at it, everything's all in order. Uh, our main test is they go and create an autoresponder account. An autoresponder is just a tool we use to send emails, bulk emails. So if they can go make an account, understand the process, follow the video, they could pass, and they pass the initial process, that means yes, this is a potential applicant. And then once they've gone through that, they go speak with my project manager and go through a few more questions. And if my project manager likes them, likes to work with them. It's really interesting. Wait, you, wait, wait, wait. People have to work essentially yeah. like before. Wait, I did not screen out completely. Yeah. <laughs> As in, even marketers who try and spy on it, they can't do it. They can't do it because they have to go through the process. Because actually, Vitaly's given me a link to his website where there's like a, a set of videos and instructions and links and resources to create all this email like processes. And it's really quite complicated, but... Uh, I wish I could, but that's all private. That whole members area is private. It's all for my VAs. Or unless you're Vitaly's best mate. You can only access that members area if you've gone through the application process. And I've specifically locked it down so no one can go through unless I create them, uh, make them account. But uh, the thing I am focused on is a big webinar, uh, fourfigurepayday.com. Soon you will see a webinar which is what I'm working on right now. See all these notes, all this paper, all these to-do lists. Every day I wake up and start taking stuff off. As soon as I moved in here, I moved in this place, to the little scan of the room. This is my little crib, which I've been hustling in. Look at that. I highly recommend it. Anyone who's uh, serious about moving forwards in their business or whatever, or life, have a plan of action. As soon as I moved in April, look at this, every day has been planned. Every month and every day. So every day I wake up, I know exactly what I gotta do. Even basic stuff like fold clothes, the cool Barclays. Everything, everything's there, all my business stuff's there. Notes, every time I wake up, every morning, look at that. Wake up, the first thing I do when I roll out of bed, write down my short-term goals and my long-term goals. I look at it for five minutes, and then I move my day. That's how I stay focused. That's how I start looking forward to my days. For me, health isn't just diet and exercise, it's so much more.